आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे हरो दामार हरो तुम्हार शोषादेश आमार शोपुलो गो तुम्हारे आमुरा लो भी आ जानु मो धन्नो हो ये चीज़ धन्नो गो टुडे वे रिमेम्बर द फ्रीडम फाइटर एंड वेटरन लीडर ज्योति बासु हु डाइड ऑन सेवेंटीन्थ जनवरी 2010 In 1930 when Jyoti Basu was just 16 years old Master Da Surya Sen and his band of valiant freedom fighters attacked the British armory at Chittagong they were hanged by the British leading to a deep impact on the youth of Bengal Basu was studying law in London when in 1937 he joined Indian student unions in Britain such as the India League led by V K Krishnamenon and the federation of indian students the turning point in his life came in 1937-38 when he joined the london majlis kiri to dhari ni to shar shringe shobuje sajano tomar desh tomar upama tumi toma toma On returning to Calcutta in 1940, Basu enrolled as a barrister at the Calcutta High Court and also joined Communist Party of India (CPI). Basu initially provided safe houses for underground leaders in the independence movement. Following the Bengal famine of 1943, Basu was involved in relief work. He also participated in the Tebhaga movement between 1945 and 1947 that sought to end the food crisis in Bengal. According to Basu, the only means of solving the issue of food crisis was to completely dismantle the zamindari system and to drive out the British from India. During the Indian Navy uprising of 1946, Basu organized a railway strike in support of the uprising and later also secured the release of various political prisoners. Post independence, Jyoti Basu served as Chief Minister of Bengal for 23 years till his death. He continued serving the country. Kaase, kaase, Seventeenth January is also the death anniversary of Assamese cultural icon Jyoti Prasad Agarwala, born in 1903 to Kiran Moi and Parmanand Agarwala in Tamil Nadu, Assam. Jyoti Prasad's parents were actively involved in spreading the spirit of nationalism among the people of Assam, which was gaining ground after the partition of Bengal in 1905. Thus, from his early childhood. Jyoti Prasad was exposed to nationalist ideas and his outlook was deeply influenced by them. During his school time itself, he joined the freedom movement. He was imprisoned for 15 months during the civil disobedience movement. Later, he also emerged as a prominent underground leader of the Quit India movement in 1942. Jyoti Prasad's works offer insightful perspectives on the times of freedom struggle. His play Lobhita provides a vivid picture of the society set in the backdrop of the Quit India movement of 1942. It represents the anti-imperialist voice of the common man fighting for Swaraj and aspiring to run the government. His plays also give voice to the woman and through her perhaps also articulates his views on women. and the existing social practices he is also credited for establishing the chitrabang studio at the bholagudi tea estate and making the first assamese movie joy moti for his significant contribution to assamese cinema he is popularly called the rupkovar of assamese culture 
His death anniversary is observed as Silpi Divas Artists Day in his honor. AIR News pays tribute to the noble soul. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.